Well, it's a sign many of us dread when we look in our rear view mirrors. So the lights of a police car pulling us over. But for drivers of color or black drivers, it can be frightening. In South Jersey, researchers looked at ways to improve the traffic stop. When Goldner explains what some police officers are doing differently to make your experience better. Driving when Atlantic City's Albany Avenue. I guess I was going a little too fast. Dion Davis heard that distinct sound. It can be scary when those lights come on. Especially for a black man like Davis. You start to get your emotions going, especially with what has been happening in this country with um, police brutality. But this traffic stop was different. When he started reading a pamphlet to me, I thought that was pretty interesting. What he didn't realize until a researcher came up to him after the officer was finished, he just became a participant in a Stockton University study examining how to improve the traffic stop. This is the script that officers follow during the uh, interactions. Professor Nusrat Sahin led the research, which took place from October 2022 to June 2024. He says officers are typically taught to keep traffic stops short. They were instructed to not get personal or, you know, uh, have a conversation with the drivers. This study did the opposite. Atlantic City and Pleasantville police officers took the time to explain to people why they were being pulled over. They showed them these maps indicating where they're being stopped in areas with high crash rates. And even more important, they automatically made the officer's body camera video available for drivers to watch online. This has a, a great impact on police community relations, and we are hoping that this will enhance those interactions and have a positive impact. Atlantic City Police Chief James Sarko says he was pleased with the results, which Professor Sahin says showed drivers surveyed after the stop viewed the experience positively. Chief Sarko's plans to continue these new procedures. Procedural justice is definitely here to stay at the Atlantic City Police Department. We're going to double down on our partnership with Stockton University. I love the intention. Davis even provided a little feedback when his stop, saying he felt the officer who pulled him over relied a lot on his script when the conversation could have been a little more natural, but understands this is new and he appreciates the intent behind it. There are people doing great work to make sure that everyday Americans are safe. In order for that work to be successful, we all have to be participants in it, even if we didn't know that we were participants in it. And perhaps the best part, the officer only gave him a warning. Brandon Goldner, CBS News, Philadelphia.